<laughs> hey, welcome friends and neighbors. This is Mike Holmes here at uh, Sinclair Baptist Church here in Sinclair, Wyoming. Actually, I'm in my uh, backyard right now, uh, just uh, not too far from the church. Anyway, uh, God bless you. Thanks for taking time. Hey, I asked a question here on the title. Can a home have harmony? And folks, the answer to that is absolutely yes. We know that it is possible for there to be uh, harmonious homes. Now, if you look out in our society, do you see them all the time? No. In fact, you run into, uh, you go to the grocery store, you see people fighting with their kids in the aisles. Uh, uh, not too long ago, I was at someone's house and their teenage son was yelling at the father. In fact, actually just cursing at the father. Uh, every word you can imagine. Folks, there was no harmony in that home. And there's no harmony in a home when a mom and a dad are constantly fighting and struggling and going through uh, different things. Things. That tension uh, causes heat, heat causes problems. Uh, there's no harmony when you have situations. Uh, I think I almost lost my connection. I guess I'm back here. Uh, uh, there's no, uh, anyway, pardon me. Uh, there's no harmony when you have the tension with uh, brothers and sisters, uh, you know, that are fighting and, and uh, parents against their own kids. And so there's tension in, in home after home after home across our country. And it doesn't take long to see how that spills out into our society, uh, in the workplace and in politics and, and everywhere else. But folks, it begins at home. And yes, we can have harmony at home. It is something that can be attained. It's not something that is a far, far away thing. Like, for example, I'll probably never learn to speak Chinese, okay? Nor write it, nor no Chinese grammar, because I struggle with the English side of, of things. I'll probably never go to all seven continents in the, in, the, in the world and get to climb all the highest peaks, although that's a wonderful thing. But folks, I can have harmony in my home, and you can too. And that's what this sermon series is about. That's what this teaching is about at Sinclair Baptist Church over the next several weeks, is where we can help you to have harmony. A lot of folks have good intentions. In other words, they start out great, and every marriage starts that way. Uh, you know, it's like, hey, we're going to have a great marriage. No one goes to the marriage altar and says, oh, man, we're going to you know, collapse this thing and take it downhill in a hurry. Uh, every child that is born, in fact, a few moments ago, I got to hold my uh, third grandchild. Uh, you have that dream of your child, and it's just a wonderful, uh, wonderful thing. Uh, you, you focus on that, and you know it can happen. And folks, we can have harmony in our homes, and it can be attained. Even if we have the, the best of intentions, though, we need to have more than that. We need some guidance. We need some direction. And folks, the Bible is filled with those things, and that's what we're going to talk about at Sinclair Baptist Church. So I want to take a moment to invite you to two different things. One is to join us at Sinclair Baptist Church on Sunday morning uh, at 9.30 or 11. And you can find the information at uh, SinclairBaptistChurch.com uh, if you need to know how to get there. If you're local here, it's not too hard to find. If you live far, far away, then you better start driving right now. Uh, and we would love to have you. Uh, the other thing I want to share with you is I want you to join me tomorrow night at 8 o'clock uh, right here. Uh, same time, same channel, uh, right here. And I want to give you one single tip that will help you to have harmony in your home. And it's probably one of the single best tips that uh, that I have ever learned and to help you to make it through that. Folks, you can have, like, say, the best intentions, but if we don't have good, solid guidance, we will have some some serious struggles. And our, our place is, our country, and our towns, our homes are filled uh, with struggling and tension right now. Now, let me just to say this, something about this series. Folks, it is not easy to have harmony in a home, but it's always better. It is not easy, but it's always better. So I want to encourage you to uh, join us at the church on Sunday or join me tomorrow night at uh, 8 o'clock, and uh, we'll give you part two of Harmony in the Home.